everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to show you how to keep your sanity with an infant or with a newborn number one food catering I used to love to cook when I was pregnant I cook like twice a day for my husband I cook in the morning for his lunch and I cook at night before he got home so everything is fresh and still warm but after newborn or infant forget about it I don't even have time to take a shower, let alone cooking. Food catering has saved my life. My catering comes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So try to Google and ask your friend around. Maybe there's a housewife that like to cook and then they want to deliver it to our house. Take that opportunity to use their service. Till my shadow turns to sun rays and on and on we'll go. Number two. Hire a cleaning lady for your house. I'm a clean freak. I love to have my house clean and tidy. I don't like a messy place even though I have a baby and it's really challenging. Uh, there's a bouncer, there's a jungle gym, there's a ergo baby, there's a car seat and stroller. So I still try to make everything clean. I have a cleaning schedule every day. But one thing that I hate is cleaning the bathroom because bathroom, when you clean it, you need to have some chemicals and then you cannot carry your baby with an ergo baby. So hire a cleaning lady have saved my life. Of course you can hire them to clean the whole place but it's gonna take more hours you need to spend more money so for us uh, concentrating on the bathroom uh, it's already save a lot of time save a lot of energy number three Amazon Prime or Amazon when I just give birth I utilize the one month Amazon Prime mem free membership otherwise you need to pay like $99 or dollars a year with Amazon Prime every time you order there's no minimum purchase and then in two days you will get your items so I order a bunch of stuff like baby essentials like a spoon for drying rag extra bottles extra bottle nipples uh, stuff like that so it's awesome but after that I don't really want to pay the membership I use the regular Amazon website there's a $35 minimum purchase for every time but I usually buy a lot anyway so it's okay I subscribe major household items like paper towels toilet paper uh, brush pad um, Kleenex etc it's really bulky and then it can deliver it to your door with the baby it's really hard to push your stroller and dropping cart so it's impossible to do and if you ask your husband to go he's alone and he cannot carry a lot of stuff I like to ask him to concentrate on buying like fresh meats and fruits and vegetables and for bulky items like toilet paper uh, paper towel I just ordered online through Amazon the price is the same if not cheaper they deliver it to your home and then uh, you can subscribe to deliver it like every month every two months every three months and so on so it's really awesome so I totally recommend that sorry guys I lost the footage for number four but for number four invest in the iRobot this is also a game changer for me. I used to hate vacuuming because it is so heavy when you try to move it to other room. Yes, it is not cheap but trust me, it is so worth it. Especially if you have a baby at home and they are playing on the floor. You can run it whenever you like, twice a week or every day. It is also very easy to clean. Number five, set up a cleaning schedule or a cleaning routine. So I have a schedule for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday until Friday. And it's easier for me to have a cleaning schedule so you will make sure that your house is clean. You don't miss any part out. Number six, take a shower in the morning and put on some makeup. In the morning, like you brush your teeth, wash your face, and then put on some makeup, even like a moisturizer and BB cream you will feel so much better and you will feel that you're ready for the day so you can do that uh, and take a shower if you have time if you don't don't worry about it just take a shower at night and then in the morning just wash your face brush your teeth and put on some makeup number seven this washer usually uh, if there are only two people at home I usually wash every dishes with hand like but with this washer I can just rinse it quickly and I put it on this washer and if you have a dishwasher utilize it and unload it every morning this is important otherwise you will have piling dishes number eight make your bed in the morning I know it sounds crazy like who has the time to make your bed if it's gonna be messy at the end anyway so but for me it makes so much difference I'm gonna show you the picture that I have of my bathroom before I have a baby but after I have a baby I keep everything simple so I only have like four pillows now it's gonna take me like five to ten minutes in the morning but after I did that I feel so much better otherwise I cannot think if my bed is messy it doesn't have to be fancy just tidy up your cover bed or your blanket and you're gonna feel so much better number nine go out and have some fresh air I know it's really hard to go out sometimes with a baby sometimes I feel so lazy too because there are so many things you need to prepare so I 
force myself to go out like every day for half an hour or a couple hours and usually if I go out my baby sleeps anyway at the car seat or at the stroller so even though I'm a little bit tired because I walk around but my baby can have some rest and then I can have a peaceful mind and keep my sanity so try that he loves his car seat and floor. Every time we walk for 5 minutes, he will fall asleep right away. So that is the reason I try to go out. So if I walk around at the mall for a couple hours, he will sleep for a couple hours. Again, this is him at the car seat. Every time we start the car, in 5 minutes, he will fall asleep. And if we arrive at the destination, he will not wake up. And for 4 to 6 hours, he will stay like this. This is a picture of him where we have lunch and he just stay quiet and sleep like an angel. If you go out, you can see beautiful weather and you can meet people and interact with people. That makes you feel alive. For the first two months, I don't want to go out. But after that, um, I found out every time I go out every day, I feel so much better. So try that. Number 10, last but not least, spend 10 minutes for each room if you do not have time to clean your house. So if it's messy and then uh, it's too overwhelmed, just spend 10 minutes, just do the most important part. So if you didn't have time to spend a couple hours, you don't need to just spend 10 minutes for each room or 10 minutes each day to clean one part of the house and you can see the difference and you can feel so much better. And that's all for today. That is what I use to keep my sanity with the baby. So I hope this is useful. If you like this kind of video, please like and subscribe because I will post new videos every week. Bye guys.